My boys, what up and welcome back. It's your boy Elio coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And as you guys can see, this isn't my account. Um, this is my good friend Fano's account and today I'll be doing an account review. And I just want to give you guys just a quick little, I guess, disclaimer and let you guys know, know what's going on. Um, I have partnered up with Fano as well. Um, so if you see any videos that are kind of out of the ordinary or kind of different than how I normally do them, then Fano probably has something involved in it. Um, he'll he'll be also be sharing ideas with me uh, in terms of the game, and you might see some new logos or new animations or whatever going on. But I'll definitely include in any videos anything that we partner up and do. Uh, if you see him in any live streams, don't be uh, don't be alarmed, and um, it should be it should be pretty pretty much legitness, you know. Um, having another person around with MSL and just keeping a steady, a steady stream of content will be great. But uh, I'll go ahead and start the uh, account re uh, account review, and um, let's get right into it, my boys. This is the first one. If you guys got any account reviews you want your boy to do, let me know. At the end of the day, I don't want your password. I don't, I don't want your account. I have my own account, and I stay true to it. I, I stay true to that. But um. Any contact information for Fennel, if you guys are ever interested, uh, I'll definitely include in um, the description box below. But uh, without further ado, let's do some account account review action. So he's level 50. I'm assuming already that he's already uh, done with his light contract, which he should be unless he didn't do any contracts. Um, he also has um, Fennel. You also have. Uh, the little uh, dragon thingy filled so you can get a gen. But um, let's take a look at his monsters real quick. And I'm going to do what's pretty darn simple. It's Is he B10 ready? Is he B8 ready? And we're going to just quickly go through that first before I decide anything else. Um, he's definitely B8 ready. He has plenty of nat 5s and um, nat, yeah, nat 4s. And he has two Monas, a Shelly. So he can definitely handle B8, no problem. So you passed the B8 test, my boy. You passed the B8 test, no problem. Um, I'm assuming that you can go ahead and do B10. Let's check B10. Um, you can use Persephone for B10. You can use Canling if you want for B10, but he's only level 50. But you can definitely use Persephone. She's Evo 2. Um, who else do we have here? You could bring Watermelon in for B10. Would it be recommended? No. Um, he does have Super Anu as well for B10. Hard hitting? Recommended? Not necessarily. He has Evil 3 Light Nike, so I'm going to go ahead and already assume that you're able to do B10. Because you have pretty much anything, everything necessary for um, B10. And you do have Light Odin. She's almost Evil 3 as well. Um, Gatito. Tina. So I'm going to go ahead and assume already that he can do B10. You should be able to run B10 just fine. Um, so he definitely passes that test. And with me, if you can do B10, especially in a decent amount of time, which I'll probably test out in a little bit here, then you should have no problems whatsoever doing up to Dragon's B7. Um, let's see if I can run, do a quick run through of B10. Just to be sure. Did it, did it already have a B10 team up? So this is his B10 team. Um, he has Tina as the wave clearer. He has Persephone as the sapper, and then Light Odin and Light Nike. So he can definitely do B10 just fine. Um, let's go ahead and just judge uh, the speed on B10 because B8 is very very easy to get um, put on auto. B B8 is very very easy to get. Uh, sub one minute um, B10 however can definitely be a big showstopper for most people and if your B10 runs are I would say in between a minute to a minute and a half then you're probably on the higher end of the spectrum if your B10's ta clear times are more than two minutes you're definitely on a lower end of the spectrum and I would try and figure out a way for you to speed it up just just for farming purposes I mean I do farm B7 and B9 as well for specific gems, but if I'm just farming for money, I mainly do B8, and if I'm farming for hopefully good, 
clean gems with a whole bunch of thick uh, sub substats on them, then I end up doing B10. And if you can clear out B10 fairly well, then it shows that your mines are geared properly, at least to a T, and that um, you don't have any real problem farming. But it's kind of interesting though that you're running dual tanks, dual light tanks. Well, Light Knight is not a tank, she's a defender, but you're running essentially dual light tanks and two DPS. Which that right there is kind of slowing your time down. Um, in my opinion, I would probably drop either Light Odin or Light Nike, depending on whoever is gemmed worse and add in another sapper. But I'm not sure what kind of sappers you have. We'll take a look after that. I just want to verify that you're able to do B10. Here's the volume up a little bit. Not too much. So he definitely cleared B10 out, no problem. Um, stable, nobody died. Um, it did take quite a while though. Yeah, two minutes. So definitely I would probably drop either Light Nike or Light Odin. I'll go check out their stats and their gems. I would probably drop, I'll sell that one for you. But I would probably drop one of them and add in another sapper because Dark, Dark Tina is a fine wave clearer and Persephone is fine for the boss. But having two light tanks is really killing your time. Um, so definitely keep Persephone. If you could get her on like a full, um, what's the word? Like a full, Veiler set just to help boost her attack up because she's there purely for saps then that should help uh, increase your damage right, right before you get to the boss even though it does not offset sap um, so definitely um, get her in Veiler that should increase your time and we need another sapper you could go ahead and skill book up your dark I mean your uh, water miho if you want as another sapper because you want to get that golem sapped to death that would definitely speed up your time. Um, let's see what other stappers that he could have. Banshees. It's Pixie, Shinobi. You don't want to bring light in there, really. Um, what do you have in storage, my dudes? Okay, you have another Persephone in storage. If you want, you can just take out your other Persephone, get her to Evo, get her to Evo 2 and just run double Persephone as um, Sappers because she has higher stats than Miho. Check to see if you have anything else in there. Um, not really in terms of Sappers. Not really at all. So yeah, you could either do one of two ways. I would definitely gleam up that other fire Persephone as another sapper for B10 and get rid of either Light Nike or Light Odin. Let's d let me decide right now for you. Um, and that should increase your time. Maybe not the fastest, but that should definitely shave off 15 to probably 20 seconds of your clear time, which. For one run isn't that much, but if you're doing 20 runs, you saving 15, 20 seconds or 25 seconds per run is definitely going to add up quite quick. Um, I would say, especially since you're not using Light Nike as the leader, it'd probably be safer for you to go with Odin because she has a whole bunch of defense and plus 15 gems, even though... Like Nike almost has that, but she's on a broken set, and while she has plenty of defense, um, unless she was super Evo, then I wouldn't bother with her. But I would just switch over pr to probably Light Odin just to make it safe, and switch out your Light Nike with uh, another Sapper, and that should decrease your time in B10. Um, let's see what else I can look at. Um, I'll go through your Mons now and just tell you what I think about him um he's on a broken set obviously you're gonna have to change that he probably should be on an intuition set because 
intuition or ruin, especially since he has that square slot, because Hunter is useless unless he crits. Um, and you may just be using him as DPS, so if you're just using him as, as DPS, hey man, just aim for that 100% crit rate, you're not going to EVO 3 him, but aim for that 100% crit rate, and you're good to go, man. Um, Fire Shinobi, I mean, that's fine. That's fine, since he's a crazy striker, and Titans as well, HP, attack, and crit rate, that's perfectly fine. Persephone, get her in Valor, um, if you do be... B9 a lot, I would recommend um, getting Lantra to level 60. If you do Titans, I would recommend getting, getting him to 60. Um, again, another broken set, which is probably going to be a big deal for you. Um, I would work to try and get all your mons, if possible, on a full set. But I understand that if you can't right now, because it is difficult to get the proper gems. But definitely work towards getting him on a full set, at least. Uh, broken six star set um, you have a lot of a lot of uh, cutscenes with which I'm assuming is for um, Titans and like I said uh, having a set isn't necessary but it could definitely help stat wise so I would definitely get them up as well and I noticed that um, your mon box is really lacking in level 60 so I would definitely start ascending mons as well but let me just go through the list real quick before I do that um, Leo, he needs crit. He, you have him at Evo three, so I'm assuming once he gets to 60 and you get enough stones that you're gonna you're gonna get him to um, Super Evo. Definitely work on getting him on Ruin um, Intuition if you can't get that crit rate up. But I would say Ruin because I have a Super Evo one and this dude, his damage is sick nasty. He went from like no tier on Titans to like my second hardest hitting Mon on Titans. The first being my Fire Verde. But definitely get him up. I see him on a broken set and that you're trying to get his crit rate up. But he would probably benefit more. Especially with the Hunter as his skills. At least on Intuition set. Um, Fire Valk. You might just be saving her just as pure DPS. In case you get a better Valk. Um, it doesn't like you have any more. So definitely hold on to her. Get your healers up. I'm not too iffy on um, broken sets on healers. Because... They're just there to heal, really. They, they just need to survive. You got a Squarus, which I'm assuming you're going to use because it's Triple Square Master Race and it's level 40. Um, Jack, you can use her for a Titan's Mon as well. Variant Yaksha. All of these are just Snap 4s you can either rebirth or build. Not sure what you're doing with that. It looks like you're also working on your Astro Guide, so I'll skip these. And you have a Water Merlin. And you have all three elements of the Merlins, the RGB. And again, he's on a broken set. Definitely would try and get him on a better set. So, visions of golems in your not so distant future. But uh, double attack and HP, perfectly fine. He doesn't need the extra um, crit rate or crit damage to do his skills. It couldn't hurt, but I, I mean, if I had a choice, I would throw him on Valor. But overall, it's not bad for where he's at. Um, if you're farming B8 at all, I would definitely recommend you, like right after this video, go ahead and ascend both of your Monas, even though you're kind of low on money. Ascend one of your Monas, get her to level 60, do B8, get enough money again, ascend your other Mona, get her to level 60, do B8, and then farm out, uh, what, like 1.6 mil? And get them skill booked up just to raise their damage up and use them for B8. I mean, you could probably put Tina in there as well. And you could probably probably do Merlin. But if you can get one of them to level 60 for B8, that could probably help you out a lot. You don't have to follow this advice, though. This is just my take on it. My take on it. Um, definitely get Shelly up. Um, he's just there really as a debuffer and some attack. So I can understand why he's on HP just to survive. Um... He's on the standard Titan build, which is fine. Um, what's his name? Wraith. Um, definitely get Wraith on Intuition set because even though he's on a broken set, as I see, his crit rate isn't 100%. And if you read right here, critical hit increased attack power in proportion to the target's maximum, maximum HP. So definitely um, focus on getting at least him on intuition set with max crit 
or I just wouldn't use him because if he isn't using Unflinching Strike for Titans, then you're missing out on a decent amount of damage, you know? Um, you can keep Miho as she is, um, level 60 just for a little bit more damage and some sub utility for Colossus. But I mean, this isn't priority number one. Uh, you can get bl uh, Blossom up too, to level 60. And uh, I mean, he could he could be on a broken set because he's just double defense down. He's there for the debuffs as well. Um, Siren, you have her on HP set, which is phenomenal because people don't really recognize that that she heals off of her own HP. Even though Vigor does not proc off her own HP, it procs off whoever she's healing. How much still heal? I believe. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Um, Ribboness. Another Titans Mon, I'm assuming. Like Siren again. Three Katines, this is all for Titan Mons. Um, so you're working on Arthur. He could definitely be helpful too in PvE. I mean, you could use him in B8, but it might slow you down a little bit. Um, his gem set's fine. You're still working on him, so I'm not going to grill you too hard on that. Um, you do have your Spark it with Max Crit, which is phenomenal. Since his Crazy Strike only works with Max Crit. Max Crit, and you have him on a Broken Set, which is fine HP crit rate and attack that's fine I'm not gonna grow you for that um, two water injuries man grats man grats they're in broken sets as well um, since they're sea strikers along with your fire shinobi I didn't mention that um, I would work towards getting them on a leech set um, probably crit rate attack HP or crit rate double attack just to help them survive more because of Titans Titans wrath the buff makes him hit a lot harder, a lot quicker. So if they don't have defense down on him, if they're not regaining enough HP from the healers who might have died, then they're gonna die quite quickly, and that's gonna really kill your DPS. So definitely at least try to get them over on a leech set. Um, judging from the mons that I've seen so far with you, um, Fano, you should be able to do at least dragons B5, which is what I would recommend. Especially for farming gems, because the higher dragons, I don't have much, if any, luck with at all. So I would definitely say, um, get get your sea strikers on the leech set. Um, the same for your water barona. I, I I'm assuming you just put whatever you could at the time, just to help her survive, which is fine. Which is fine. Um, broken set healer, fine. Um, Siegfried, you have him on a Valor set, which is perfectly fine. I mean, his skills don't proc off crit rate, so you're you're good to go. Um, defense, attack, HP, yeah, you're good to go. Uh, these are more nat fours. I'm not sure what you're doing with Yetis for rebirths. Um, guys, if you don't know, you can use their Yetis for your Dark Merlin if you're not filling out your Astro Guide for them, or if you're done with rebirth already because you might already have them. You can use Yetis for Dark Merlins if for Dark Merlin if you're interested in it. But if you're not. Do what you want. Do what you want. Not sure why you got an arc over there. Um, your new is uh, at Super Evo, which is phenomenal. Um, max crit rate on him as well. Um, good pair of gems on him. Good, good clean pair of gems on him. HP, I guess, for some more survivability, which is fine. Um, if he was on Ruin, though, me, I like to go full glass cannon with him because it's like hit or miss dude like he's gonna kill you or you're gonna kill him but overall definitely fine as long as he has that max crit rate because like I said before guys if your mons are hunter types and they don't have max crit rate then you're you're using them wrong you're not doing them any justice because if that move doesn't proc then you're wasting your time you're wasting your time um, you got wood Mowgli over here which is fine it looks like he skill booked her up as well so you could use her in B7 and Dragons as well. Um, I would definitely get her on a Valor set if possible. Definitely on a Valor set because 150 does not offset the percent from Valor if she's on a complete Valor set like you just started here. So I would probably throw her on double attack and HP for Dragons. And since you've already booked her up, She should do just fine. So I'll definitely get her to level 60 as well. Um, Wood Mushi. Um, assuming it's for Titans. 
he's fine. He's fine. Um, your Fabian's fine as well because he's for Titans. Wood Merlin. Um, another Sea Striker. Great set of gems on him. I would definitely get him on Leech as soon as possible because Wood Sea Strikers are probably the weakest part of Titans for many, many clans. So I would definitely work towards getting him a Leech set if possible this weekend. Um, he will benefit dearly, especially for him being Evo 2. Squares is there for, I'm assuming, Titans at some point in time as well. You could skill book him up as well. Um, I was going to keep my squares, but his defense down is just way too low for his his 5 star for me to keep him. Um, Nike, um, I would try and get her probably honestly on an intuition set or ruin, more likely intuition with uh, just straight triple defense or triple or double defense and one crit rate gem just to maximize her crit rate because light gets that additional 10% even though they have low resist and I see that you're trying to go for her resist but if you can get her an intuition with a decent amount of resist and a decent amount of crit rate on her and get her to super evo um, she should probably do a lot better than light odin in terms of dps for b10 which is speed, will speed up your runs quite quite a good chunk which at this moment in time i would say is probably the most important for you my dude because your gym game is kind of weak it's kind of weak i mean i can't really talk much about myself but it's kind of weak um light odin she's on hp which is fine and it looks like you're trying to get her resist up once again, perfectly fine. Broken set works. If it works, it works. Um, if you want, you could just probably put her on a full gem of life set. If you get another awesome gem of life with HP on it. And I see it looks like you've been testing out your gems as well. Um, with the intuition sets, you guys... Um, I like to go through my intuition sets, and if they're not going into crit rate at all, by the time I hit about plus 12, then I just I just throw them away. I just sell them. If they don't roll into crit two times by plus 12, just get rid of them. Um, there's no use keeping them because you're doing intuition set for crit rate, and if you're not getting that maximum crit rate, then you're kind of wasting your time and wasting your point in having that gem set. Same goes for ruin. If it doesn't roll into crit, then I don't want it for ruin as well. So if you don't have anything with crit on it, me personally, I would get rid of it, but I, I don't understand. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what's going on in your mind. You might want to keep them. That's up to you. Uh, you have a light Wendigo as well. You have all kinds of sea strikers, my dude. All kinds. Probably more than me. Um, this crit rate's almost max, which is fine. You're working towards that. And plus, if you, if you put him in Titans with a... Uh, Wolf of Mon that has crit rate as their passive, their leader skill passive, um, then he'll, he'll do just fine. So no real qualms about that. I'm assuming HP, crit rate, attack, which is kind of odd for Valor. Um, I would probably go more towards Ruin if you can get his crit rate up. But, I mean, I guess Valor's fine too because Intuition just raises your crit rate up and this one boosts his damage. So definitely be on the lookout for a good, clean, thick stack of Ruin to hopefully put on him. It looks like you got two of them, dude. Gag me with a machete. You sure do. And I bet that the, uh, I bet that the Valor one out damages that one. Tina doesn't really matter because it's Light Tina. Light Jack, definitely get her crit rate up when you have a chance. Broken set, doesn't matter. Just try and get her crit rate up to max. If not, Hunter is useless and her morale boost is useless. So, if her crit rate isn't max, then she's useless. Because when that move doesn't proc, she's just like a nat 3. Like a regular old nat 3. Light Spark it as well. He's max crit rate. I'll leave him alone. I'll leave him alone for now, man. You could probably get away with getting um, another conviction conviction gem up on him, just to help uh, increase his resist a bit more. 
Yeah, increases resist a bit more, which would definitely be helpful. Um, Light Wraith, he needs crit as well. You're working towards it, but he doesn't have that max crit. If he doesn't have that max crit, then I wouldn't really worry about him at the moment. I mean, you can book him up as well. Um, Light Pixie, she's a healer. Broken set's fine, but looks like you're going for HP set. Which is fine. Um, she has HP defense. HP defense. And you could probably put either recovery on her. Or I would stick another HP gem on her. It's up to you. I'm not going to put anything on her because she is not mine. Uh, Light Shinobi. He's okay. He's not super duper good, but he's fairly well. Um, you're going towards that max crit rate. That's fine. Um, if you can get him on Ruin, because it's easier to build Light Mons with max crit rate than other Mons, definitely go for the Ruin. And he should definitely do some work for you. He might be, the, he might, he may not be the strongest Mon out there, but he's definitely not the worst at all. Your Tito. Definitely get his crit rate up as soon as possible. If you're going to do any mon after this video, work on getting his crit rate up. And yep, double attack and crit rate. Fine, because he's just, um, he's just a mauler. He's there to straight wreck things and one shot him. Um, Tina, you have her crit rate up as well on Hunter. Perfectly fine. She's level 60. No skill books, unfortunately, which is fine. Um, Dark Misha, he's definitely going to need Valor or Ruin, in my opinion. I would say Ruin would be the nastiest because he benefits from that additional crit rate and the crit damage bonus. But you're working towards him. Um, Light Birdie. HP, HP, HP. So, yeah, you could put him probably, in my opinion... I probably do like crit rate and double HP on him. Um, reason being is because he's quite tanky by himself and I feel like he doesn't benefit as much from triple HP, especially as an HP aggressor. And with the fact that he heals himself, even though it's only 10% as his five star skill, he has the ability to heal himself some. And with him hitting harder on his three star skill, in theory, he should be able to heal himself a little bit more, a little bit easier because of that. So I would definitely throw him on like maybe an intuition or ruin set with probably crit rate and uh, double HP hopefully with some crit rate subs and he should be good to go. Um, that's rebittals which you can use for um, the lovely re rebirth for drowsy and looks like you're working towards um, light Shiva as well. Perfectly fine. You have some ties here which I'm not sure what you're doing with the ties. Maybe you're trying to fill out your astro guide but that looks like all the mines that you have um let me go through and tell you which ones i will try to get to 60 as soon as possible um definitely work on getting fire killing the 60 fire leo get him to 60 you have my evo 3 get him to 60 and start working towards those um super evo mats if you haven't already because in my opinion, this is one of the best, if not the best, super evolution mod that we can get for fire types over fire succubus, which I see you don't have, which is fine if you since you have other mods. But uh, light succubus, not light succubus, fire succubus, could definitely help you out in dragons as well. Um, you can also work on getting your um your fire cura up to level sixty, but that's not that's not like um what would i say that's not uh number one on the list like healers healers are okay at 50 give them to 60 when you can but let's do fire candling fire leo i said fire leo first fire candling um try and get a mona up to level 60 i'm not sure if you use them for b8 but if you do get both of them up to level 60 if you don't use them for b8 you can get one up to level 60 because if you do clan versus clan um definitely the monas help as a good decent water attacker and since she has skill books she's gonna be even stronger fail set on her already she's good to go dude she's good to go um of course get your rave to 60 because it looks like you're interested in doing titans miho it's up to you if you want to get her to 60 like i said 
go for your fire other fire Persephone and get her to 60 and get her to Evo 2 and use her as a sapper because she has just better stats than Water Miho even skill booked even though I'm a big Water Miho fan um you can get Shelly to 60 as well and definitely um Water Seether. I would probably do Water Seether first over Shelly though because for some reason Shelly kind of likes to hog all the blue souls in Titans. So I would do Water Seether over Water Shelly first. Uh, you can of course get your healers to level 60 as well but I would kite that out into the last bit. Um, if you're going to raise your Arthur get him to level 60. Of course, get your Sea Strikers. Get all your Sea Strikers. They should be the first ones, if not... Actually, yeah. They should be the first ones besides your Leo. If you're interested in Titans. To get in, getting them to level 60. Because that helps them survive tremendously. And you already have plenty at Evil 3 and Evil 2. So even that alone is going to help them survive a lot longer in Titans. And, and of course, with Leech sets on them as well. Will benefit them so much, my dude. So much. So I would hunker down and start working... And getting them to level 60. Like your water enders here. This whole. All four of these dudes. Get them to 60. Get them to 60 as soon as you can. Um, You can get your water sick free to 60 as well. Your new's fine. Get water. Get wood Mowgli to 60. Wood Mushi to 60. Though he's kind of on the back burner. Definitely. Definitely. Your wood Merlin. Uh. Wood Fibian, he's a good contender because he's balanced type. So if you use him quite a lot in other regards of the game, besides Titans, like for dragons, definitely get him to 60 to help him survive. Just take in mind though that he's not there for damage. He is there purely as a debuffer. His damage can be okay, but overall he's not there for damage. He's there just to survive. So he's kind of on the middle of the list in my opinion. On getting the 60 as soon as possible. You can at least get your squares to 50 right now. I wouldn't worry about them too much. Because you don't have a lot of Astro Gems. And you don't have too much gold. Um, definitely your other, your two other Sea Strikers. Get them to 60. Light Jack is optional. She is hard hitting. Especially for Clan versus Clan. But she's optional because she's very very squishy. And be kind of hard to gem up properly. But she is triple square master race. Which is kudos to you my boy. Kudos to you. Um, Light Spark it is good for clan versus clan defense. Or as an attacker. You can get him to 60. But would I say do that now? No. You can go ahead and get uh, your sand wraith to 60 as well. Definitely get your shinobi. Uh, I would say Misha and your Dark Birdie as well. And that pretty much sums up the dudes I would recommend getting to 60 as soon as possible. Let's check your box real quick. You could clean one of your injures and feed him to one of your water injures if you want. And you have a wood purse. She has sat on her as well. Wood Miho, mediocre. Light Nezza, which is fine. I have one. Um, that looks like it's about it in terms of getting people to 60. And also, you had a question about Sura, my boy. Um, for Sura, in your case, I would probably prioritize the. What is it? Is it Dark Sir? Let me, I'll withdraw him for you real quick. So if you see that he's withdrawn, he's in your box. I didn't get rid of him. Um, he doesn't have a square slot, which is unfortunate because he benefits heavenly with his hunter. But you could probably throw him on intuition set. But him not having a square slot is kind of a killer, unfortunately. Unless you want to go ahead and do the gem slot conversion. If you, if you do the gem slot conversion, I would definitely um, start trying to get this dude to Evo 3 first. But of course, hold on to your light one. If not, go for the light one next. If that one has a square slot. If it doesn't, still not the end of the world. I would try and build both of those simultaneously. Probably do the dark one first on an intuition set. 
and then I will probably do a water one if you're interested in PvP because he's a solid choice and with his two turn stun um, two turn 100% stun he can definitely be helpful but I would probably prioritize hold on let me look at your light one as well while I'm over here okay yeah I would do your light one do your light one um I have a video up soon with Sura as well as a review to help you out my boy but uh go ahead and build the light one first and then save the dark one for later unless you do do the conversion slot um because the light one could definitely help me help you in pvp he could probably help you in dragons if you're lacking a decent attacker slash pseudo healer slash pseudo dps mon um but i would definitely go for your light sir first and in terms of dragons um your gatita is fine I would get your Tina on a um, siphon set as soon as possible because I see that you use her in Golden's B10 perfectly fine I'm assuming that you use her for farming purposes as well so getting her on a siphon set is gonna help speed your time up by like sick nasty disgusting time and you might be saying Elio if I put her in a siphon set she might not have 100% crit rate even though she might not have 100% crit rate on siphon she's still gonna get her crits off fairly fairly well and quite quickly so even though she may not crit on everything if you have a decent um, leader that raises her uh, crit crit rate up then you should be fine but until you can get like a good siphon set on her then your broken set is fine because she needs critical damage for both of her well not critical damage but critical rate for both of her skills which is fine, but I would definitely work on getting a siphon set for her as soon as possible. Work on getting your Nike to Super Evo in the gems that I stated earlier. Le leech set for all your Sea Strikers. And of course get Leo up and I noticed that you don't have any other Siegfried so I'm not sure how much you do Titans or how much you do clan versus clan but I mean a fire Siegfried for where you're at in the game right now my bro definitely would definitely wouldn't hurt you at all even if he was Evo 2 because you can throw him on a crappy siphon set even if it's triple attack or double attack with crit rate whatever you can throw him on a crappy siphon set with only one attack percent gem and whatever else just activate the bonus and even at evil 2 he should help your clear times for farming areas in the story quite well so i mean overall your count for a level 50 is in good standing even though you're you need to get more 60s that's your biggest problem then next i would say is gems and also next with the gems is also going to be the siphon set so if you get more mines to 60 you get your time down in B10 like I recommend it to you and get your time down in B8 if it's taking you more than a minute because I don't know if it is or not but if it is taking you more than a minute definitely get your times for B8 down definitely get your times for B10 down and you should not be rolling in gems but it should be fairly easy for you to get better gems for your mons and that should decrease your overall farming time and if you get better gems for your mons you can get them more on non-broken sets you can get them more in full sets which is going to help you out in dragons as well and get you the siphon set that you need but definitely i would say work towards getting a fire siegfried my dude to pair with your dark tina and just have someone else with a critical rate um increase further stats that way when you're farming and leveling up on to have two people on siphon sets and it helps tremendously like even one mod on the siphon set helps tremendously i don't know if you want to build a fire sig feed or not but that's what i would do in my opinion if i were you because we're like maybe six or seven levels apart but i feel like my mods are probably geared way better than yours then again you probably not have been playing as long as i have which is a little bit over a year and of course i'm not a professional but overall, the account is in good standing. Um, I'm not going to do dragons at all because today is Friday for me, obviously. Um, but yeah, um, definitely work on 
getting them to Evo. Yeah, so, okay, you're working towards it. You're almost there. So you're going to get your Light Nike, I'm assuming, to um, Super Evo first. Then do your Leo. Okay, yep, that's fine. So he's working towards it. So uh, let me sum it up for you guys. Um, I would say work towards getting your mines to level 60. Work towards getting your clear rates down in B8 and B10. So you can get better gems for your mons. Work on getting a siphon set for even if you don't want Fire Siegfried, at least your Tina. But I would say the more mons that have morale boost and elemental edge or something similar to that, like Mini Sarah, the better. It couldn't hurt you at all. And then after that, you should be fairly well off with leveling your other mons, which kind of goes hand in hand with getting them to 60. And you shouldn't have too much of a bad time for right now because it looks like you're going in the right path um and you do have four light sierra yeah you have four light sierra uh soul stones it doesn't like you have any dark which is kind of odd no dark yeah, it looks like no dark. If you had a dark one, that would be excellent. Um, Light Sierra is not bad either. If you don't want to do Siegfried, you can just pull one of them. And if you want, spend Holy Gleams to get her to Evo 2 and throw her on a cheap, great value siphon set as well. I would say Siegfried though, because he's easily farmable and you don't have to waste any Holy Gleams on him. But um, that pretty much sums up the video. Um, Fano, uh, thank you again for allowing me to use your account. This is my first time doing this and I'm glad that, you know, Somebody at least trusts your boy enough to um, review the account. Um, I hope you take into consideration everything that I looked at on your account. If you have any more questions, my boy, let me know. To all of you that have stayed through and heard your boy talk for nearly 45 minutes, thank you. Um, if you guys are around the same level as, as Fennel, you might have the same issues. So hopefully this video helps you out. If you guys want to have an account re review done by your boy, hit me up on Discord. And we can schedule a time and get it done. And um, as always, guys, thanks for watching and peace out. Uh, if you guys see any new content, like I said before, me and Fennel have partner partnered up. If you see any new content, I'll definitely indicate in the video that it's a joint effort. If there's no indication, it's just your boy doing what he normally does. If there's indication, then there's outside help, which is fine. But I like to give credit where credit's due because, you know, not everything's my idea. Not everything your boy does has to be from him. But um, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Peace out. Hope to do more.